So let's go again. And let's skip all this. Da, 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 da. Right, so first thing first is the door, right? A rusted metal. And we break the lock. Huh. I don't think there was a way to get a timey before this, was there? Unless. Because that's an entire minute wasted immediately. Can you get a time me from this? A door that looks like. Okay, hmm? sweet. It's locked, but we got the time me. I'm just thinking whether I should just restart already, because like we just wasted. We just game. wasted half a minute walking between those two places, you know. But let's see how we go. Break the lock with. Okay, so we got the times 10, so we need to use the times 10 on this one, because this is only one second, so we do that. And then we pick up the correct one. And then we go back over here. Agent Dante, you've got five minutes. Okay, then we go down this way. A door with Uh and then I kick it open. Do I take the thirty second hit here? Because I, I think I need the one second one, right? For the big door. So I think I take the 30 second hit. Okay, so we're down here now. And then we go down here. Door C. Uh, this one we can one third. Okay, now we're down here. We can go even lower, but that's... No, we can't. No, we can't. No, 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 no. Right. Uh... Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. I think we're doing better than before, right? We're not going to waste time fucking around with that because we know it's the An drum. Oil drum. Uh, we push the drum. Don't think we need to use anything for seven seconds. That is now up. Okay. Good thing we still have the one second. Arrested. Because we sure as shit need that for the 999. It does not. There's Renju getting choked the fuck out. Hot. Now let's go grab the key. I think this is going pretty well, it's a right? Key with a watch. The hands. It I believe this is going pretty well. Shit, we need to do a different one though for the one second. Uh, are you a one second by any chance? It's a key with a watch the hands in- Nope. One of these was a one second. It's a key with the hands in- In the morning? No, that is not what I mean. Ten seconds? That's even worse. It's a key with the hands in the key. There it is. Alright. Then a times two. Well, that's that's we can deal with times two. It's a key with a, the hands in the. Key. You have three minutes, Dante. The... Okay. I... Up here, right? Time to clear the ice. Can't use the control panel yet. We don't need to try covering the pipe. So we'll a save time key. now. Uh, 
We're gonna get a timey from this, so let's halve it, I guess. A rusted metal door. Uh, we one second this. I think I can open this door. Okay, so we are at this point with a hundred with just under three minutes left whereas before we got to this point with like 50 seconds left or something so this is far 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 better rows of monitors uh right we investigate to use the timey the bad timey <laughs> rows of mon then we insert key rows of then we rotate key Rows of monitor. Then we press switch. Then we Rows rotate key again. And then we get back there. So this is the run. This is where we got up to last time and Door. did not successfully make it. <laughs> uh, we got another one second there. I guess let's use a third thing. Right, so it's all the way around. Got two minutes left. Two minutes. You have less than two minutes. Hurry. Doors. Okay, so here we are. We were here with three seconds left. Now we've got a hundred. Much better. Much, much better. Door F. This is the first time we've seen it. Indeed. Okay. So, uh, one ninth. We kick that shit open. Now first we're over floor. here. This is the first time we've been here. Indeed. That big door. If we can see what's in there, we'll figure something out. Well, that behind that door would be So's death, right? We've seen all the deaths in order so far. Well, we haven't seen Ota, but I assume... I assume Ota is not, uh... Not gonna be behind a door, because that's like the same as Iris, basically. Coil. It is discharging sparks. Oh boy. <laughs> nine 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 each, huh? Let's see what's up the ladder first. An iron ladder. Climb up is nine nine nine? Oh, what the fuck? Oh god, and if you get it wrong you have to Cause I only like there's six things to do, and only one of them is gonna be right. And if I choose the wrong one, I've got to do the whole walk back again, because the previous checkpoint... Oh, fuck me. That's rude. That is very rude. I don't see what doing anything with the cord would do. It's not going to be investigate. It's not going to be shock yourself. I don't think electrocuting the door would do anything necessarily, so I'm leaning towards climbing this. Because we've never been over here before, have we? Well, fuck me right up the bum if this is wrong. Wait, she can't touch it? Oh, for fuck's sake. I passed through it. It must not be for climbing. Please give me a one second timey. Please give me a one second timey. Oh, uh, it's a 30. I mean, it's An not iron? as bad. Tackle... I mean, she passes through it, so she's not going to be able to tackle it, and she's not going to be able to lift it. So it must be the cord then. So it must be kick. A power cord. Hmm. If this were pointed in a different direction, something might happen to the door. No, 
This is different. That won't work this time. Fuck! I said one minute. Hurry! A power cord. It... Get shocked? I mean, if she passes through the ladder, she literally can't do anything with the ladder. She can't tackle it because she passes through it. She can't lift it because she passes through it. So, it has to be this. And it's never investigate, right? Investigate is always just a bit of dialogue, but never the actual thing to do. So, it's got to be get shocked. Date, we've known each other for a long time. I know that you are joking, but could you please consider the appropriate time it's and It's not... You're seriously lecturing me right now? Excuse me? Sorry, man. Well, fuck me. That's it then. We we don't have time. Date, 30 seconds. Well, then I'm going to choose investigate just to see what happens. But we'll be out of time. So The sparks. This could be dangerous if anything were to catch fire. But if you use it. Date, there is no time. Damn it, what the hell? So it is something to do with the ladder then? Ugh, I can't believe they make you do this whole thing every time. Rows of monitor. This sucks. This section actually Rose actively of... is bad, I think. It Rose makes of... you go through all of this fucking rotate the key, do the thing, go back in, press the switch, do this, go back in, press it again, Rose rotate the thing again. And then walk all the way to the place we have to go, which is not a short distance. The fact that it makes you do this every time you fail, and it actively makes them all fucking uh, 999 seconds so that you will get fucked. Like, that's not fun. That's not nice. Did I pick up the eye on this run? I don't remember. Whatever. You have less than two minutes. Hurry. I feel like this part is actually just bad. It'd be fine if it if it checkpointed you down at the doors, but because of where it checkpoints you, that ain't fun. On the plus side, I tried four options and it was none of them, which only leaves two. Door F. <laughs> and unless I'm missing something, there's nothing else I could click here, right? Although it looked towards this barrel like... Maybe investigating it. Because I, I couldn't turn the camera. It, wouldn't, it doesn't let you do anything once you do it. And they did look at the barrel when I clicked investigate, so maybe I'm going to do that. Because it just doesn't make sense that she could interact with the ladder by tackling it or pushing it or whatever when she can't climb it, so... But if you use it... No, you can't interact with this. What? A power cord. Then what the fuck is it? Why does it point me towards the barrel in that cutscene and then you can't actually do anything with the barrel? And I And she can't climb the ladder. So surely that also means if she can't interact with the ladder, surely that means she can't lift it or tackle it, but it has to be one of these things, right? So lift <laughs> No use. It is too heavy to lift. How are you able to interact with it in that An way? Iron... Makes no sense. Hurry. Ready?
That makes zero sense that she can fucking Whoa. interact with it in two different ways, but she can't interact with it when she tries to climb it. That is a bad puzzle. This Somnium is awfully dangerous. Hey, that door. Maybe we can open that one now. Check it out. Gate, thirty a seconds. Metal door. Well, it doesn't matter, because either way, we lose. Well, I mean, I think this is the final door, right? So we should be fine. We don't get the extra art, but who cares? I'm going to open it. But that is a terrible puzzle. Okay, so that implies the blue person we have seen the whole time is boss, because we know that happened. That we know boss did that. But I just don't believe that it is boss that's actually doing it. So I think it boss must have been body swapped or something. I don't believe the boss killed all the others. That's Iba, return to the control room on the third floor. At once. Oh my god! I fucking- I fucking called that shit! I fucking called this shit ages ago! It's a chain! I fucking called it! What the hell is going on? I actually called that it's a chain of murders! Tate, what are you doing? Six minutes are up. Wait, wait, Hitomi is... Tate, you can't go any longer. Four shut down. No! Holy fuck. When I say ages ago, it wasn't actually that long ago. It f <laughs> in terms of in terms of videos, it wasn't that long ago. I haven't recorded this for like a week or something. Uh, so for me, it feels like it's ages ago since I called that. But it, I'm just thinking about what part it was, and I, it must have been. It must have been when uh, when we learned about body swapping, which was pretty recent, right? So in terms of parts, it was only a few days ago. But it was quite a while ago that I actually recorded that part and came up with it. Came up with the theory. It's one person body jumping then. Wait, so that means it's Shoko? Does it mean it's Shoko? I don't know. <laughs> it's possibly. Possibly Shoko. Because, yeah, that was, that was the theory I had, right? That it was one person. It was when we learned about the body jumping. It was that it was one person jumping through all the bodies and then killing them. So it was that Shoko jumps to Renju and then kills Renju in Shoko's body. And we saw it is Renju that killed Shoko in the dream at least. Which I'm going to take that as fact. I'm going to take it as fact that Renju is the one that killed Shoko. Uh, uh, but it was actually like Renju's body but Shoko killed Shoko as it were. <laughs> Complicated to talk about. Uh, and then she proceeded to jump into... Uh, Iris's body. So Iris goes into Ren's body. Yeah, because Iris... Yeah, because Iris trusts Ren. So Shoko, in Ren's body, gets Iris to go with her, jumps into Iris's body, kills Ren, thereby killing Iris. Now Shoko's in Iris's body, jumps into So. She could have... She could have got 
Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then she'd be able to get So's trust potentially by the fact that Iris is his daughter. So she'd be able to lead him to the sink machine to swap into So's body and then kill Iris. Still don't get why they do the whole public live stream thing for that, but whatever. Ota's just collateral damage. Uh, but then that would mean Shoko's currently in Boss's body right now? Unless she's already jumped out. Huh. Because she'd have jumped into Boss's body to kill So, and then Boss is dead in So's body. So now it would be Shoko, then it would be Shoko in Boss's body, but Boss didn't seem like she was acting like Shoko would? I don't know. I mean, we don't know that much about Shoko, apart from the fact she's a massive bitch. What a fucking- if this- if this does end up being true, if it is Shoko that's doing this all, what a fucking cool-ass twist that the villain of the piece is the person that you see dead at the very start of the game, the very opening of the game is you fucking panning down on this carousel with Shoko dead on it. And like, if if the actual villain <laughs> the whole time is her, <laughs> like, that's so cool. That's such a cool concept. I don't know if it will be, uh, but that I love that idea. But it is, it might be something different, but I really do love that idea. <laughs> but it's definitely some body swap shit. I took shit. a look around your head. Like, they introduced the concept of body swapping. You don't introduce that concept and don't make it, like, a key thing, right? And I discovered something. Something about the new Cyclops serial killings. Apart from Ota, there are four victims. Shoko Nadami, Renju Okiura, Iris Sagan, and So Sejima. Who was responsible for these murders? Shoko was stabbed by Renju with an ice pick. Renju was strangled to death by Iris. So cut open Iris's body. Also, like, yeah, that, you know what? The fact that Ren was killed, Ren was strangled to death by Iris, like, that doesn't make any fucking sense for Iris as a character, right? That cannot be Iris. I refuse to believe that lovely, like, happy-go-lucky, fun time Iris would fucking strangle Renju, someone that she looks up to, would fucking strangle him to death. Like, that's just... she just wouldn't, right? Unless she has been playing us for a fool this whole time, that is not something Iris would do. I don't believe. So it has to be someone else in Iris's body. But who shot so? It was you. In other words, all of these murders were committed by different people. There wasn't just one killer. I don't think that's true. I think this is I think this is the ultimate bait. I, I I feel like I feel like I'm ahead of the game on this one. I feel like the twist right now is supposed to be you're supposed to be like, oh my god, it wasn't one person, it was all these different people, but how? And I feel like the next twist is it actually was just one person. Body jumping. I don't know. We'll see. That's how it looks on the surface anyway. Or okay, never mind, maybe they're going to immediately reveal it. But but that's not the truth, is it? There's only one culprit. Shoko. One person. Please. Please tell me it's Shoko. And that person is... Who is the new Cyclops killer? Is Shoko an option? Well, I don't think it's So, I don't think it's Iris, and I don't think it's Renju. <sighs> Fuck. Is Shoko not an option? God damn it. If I say it's you, am I talking to the person inside boss like not actually boss herself right maybe please please be right yes you the person in front of me right now but not boss you're blaming the commander of abyss for this no not boss the person inside boss's head please please be right please be right can you at least try to make sense all right, I'll explain. You know about the abandoned chemical plant in Kabasaki? There's a prototype sink machine there. Wait, we never found this out on this route, did we? You use that device to swap around bodies one by one. 
D wait, did we find that out on this on this route? I don't think we did, did we? Because this was the very first route we went down. I'm sure we never found this out. Hmm. Like, obviously, the player knows this at this point because you can't do this route until you found that out from the other route. But Date, I wouldn't. I didn't think Date knew that. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. But maybe I'm just misremembering? In other words, the entire egg ends up being replaced. Wait, what? Okay, no. Now, this is definitely. That, that conversation absolutely did not happen on this route. That conversation happened in a route far away. <laughs> Mind, consciousness, memory, they are traded. Switched. So, I guess Date can just remember things from other timelines now? I don't know where it started, but at some point, you got into Shoko's brain. Then, you got into Renju's. Wait, it's not Shoko? It's someone that was in before Shoko? Fuck. I didn't even consider. Well, I'm still pretty proud of myself. I'm still pretty proud of myself for figuring it out ahead of the game. Like, what was going on, at least. Even though I did not get the right killer. I just thought it would be... It's gotta be someone else we know, though, right? It wouldn't just be a random person. Is it 89? Is it... Is it fucking... Is it the dickhead? Is it the fucking... The original Kumakura chief? Maybe it's the original Kumakura chief, because we know he did like taking eyes, and he is dead. Hmm. Hmm. It's possible. It's possible. I was thinking it was Shoko because, like, we've seen that she's just a massive fucking bitch. <laughs> like, and... I, I guess I didn't have a I guess I didn't have a real motive worked out for her beyond that beyond the fact that we know she is a truly fucking evil human. But they're actually saying it's someone else that got into Shoko's head originally. Did Shoko have anything to do with the Kumakuras? I think she did, right? I can't remember what exactly, but I'm pretty sure Shoko was in with the Kumakuras at one point. So you know what? It could be the old chief of the Kumakuras. And got rid of Shoko's body. After Renju was Iris. You strangled Renju using Iris. After that, into So. Who you used to kill Iris and Ota at the cold storage warehouse. This is fantastic. I, I love this so much. <laughs> this is great. This is great. Now, you're in Boss's body. Inside her head. I hope it explains how the fuck Date is remembering conversations that did not take place in this timeline, though. <laughs> I see. If you know that much, then I have nothing left to hide. Yes. I am the culprit behind the new Cyclops serial killings. Also, why did you record... Like... Your own face? Like, she... She... <sighs> I was, yeah, because I was questioning why she recorded Iris's, but she also recorded So's, but at least with Iris's, Iris's was live streamed, and also she made sure to keep herself off camera. Like, she was in the polar bear suit when she was on camera, she never showed her face, so, hmm. I guess you can call me the new Cyclops killer. But who are you? Who the hell are you? Saito. Saito Sejima. Wait, what? I thought I was Saito Sejima. Fuck. So I'm not Saito Sejima. So... Huh. Who am I then? So I'm not the killer of... Uh, Iris's mum then? I was convinced I was Saito Sejima. Huh. Congressman Sejima's son. Yeah. You're the one that killed Iris's mum, but... 
Why? Okay, okay. What? I'll just let it. I'll just. I'll just stop theorizing at this point and uh, let it. Let it tell me what it wants to tell me. I researched Saito thoroughly, but I cannot find any images of him on the internet. He is listed on the family register, but I cannot find any photographs. Give me the details of each crime. Before I do, there's something I want to hear from you. How did you know about the prototype sync machine? Yeah, I want to know that as well, because he didn't know about it. And not only that, you also seem to know what the sync machine is truly capable of. Okay, I'm glad they're addressing this. Why is that? That's... Regaining your memories, are you? Wait, what? Human memory is fractal. If you retain even a single piece of it, it's possible to recreate the whole thing. Pieces of memories are like root that grow into every corner of the brain, gradually, slowly taking its time. I imagine the same thing is happening in your brain right now. A fractal is a figure with self-similarity. Allow me to explain. See this? Whichever fragment you cut, you will see a similar shape. The whole is made up of its similar parts. This is called a fractal figure. Memories in the brain are similar. That is what he is explaining. He is claiming that from a few pieces, you can rebuild the memory. I knew about the prototype from regaining my memory. Is that right? No, that's not it. Parallel worlds exist. Yep, that didn't happen in this one either. Okay, interesting, interesting. Who was inside Iris during the interrogation on Sunday? That was me. You imitate her well. Yeah, I was good at like that's actually crazy because we there's there mu we must have interacted with Saito a bunch of times and I never have thought that anyone was acting out of character. But, like, yeah, that's that's really well done by Saito, for sure. And the way you talked in your body language, it was like the real Iris. Yeah. Earlier, too, you almost had me fooled. Your imitation of Boss was perfect. Yes, there's a reason for that. Let me define some terms first. A person's memory and sense of self. Let's call that personality. It isn't quite the right word, but it'll suffice. Now, transferring that personality into someone else's brain, let's call that parasitism. The one transferring is the parasite, the one being transferred into is the host. Are you with me so far? Moving on. Even after the personality exchange is complete, the host's memory isn't completely lost. About 1% remains in the brain. So, a parasite could use that 1% to imitate the language and behavior of the host. That's how I knew about the warehouse and Sunfish Pocket, by the way. Thanks to Renju and Iris's remaining memories. Okay. Who is... Wait, oh, this is just continuing. I'm telling you. It was me. Damn, that's a creepy look. <laughs> Why are you making me repeat myself? That means the Somnium I entered on Sunday. That's right. It was me. How? How does he know about the original Cyclops killer? I'm trying to think, what was... What was the Somnium we ent We entered Iris's Somnium. But it wasn't Iris, it was them. Right, yeah, that was the one in that... Oh, it was in... Was it in the same warehouse? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it must have been. So we've been in this person's Somnium a couple of times now. And I think I think both of them take place in the warehouse. That one was the one with the TV at the start, and you make the choice on, on the TV. Uh, and yeah, it's looking at the original Cyclops killing. So how do you know about the original Cyclops killings? Was it because you were already... Were you doing the original ones as well? And something else was troubling me. Like, we know obviously it was Rohan. Was it Rohan? The Kumakura guy? That name just popped back in my head. Was it Rohan? Uh, we know he 
and 89 were like joint doing it, but was was he was Saito in one of their heads or? Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. Wait, blue figure with Date's face. Was he in my head? Oh man. What's going on here? I got taken over? And I've been put back in my original body, but like something fucked up, and that's how I lost all my memories because of the transference. Continue. Continue. Fine. I still have time. Oh god, time until what? Time. You'll see. He's gonna escape somehow. He's he's too confident. Like he 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 is as though he has control of the situation, which you wouldn't think he does, but somehow he has. So, where do you want me to start? Let's start at the very beginning. It's just past midnight on Tuesday. Shoko is killed on Friday. If we think of that as day one, today is day five. What was Saito doing those days? I decided to ask him. Alright, let's go through in order. Day one, Friday. Like you guessed, my personality was in Shoko, Renju's ex-wife. That made calling Renju easy. I need to talk to you about something. He came over without question. I think it was around 4 p.m. I had him meet me at the chemical plant. I made Renju go to sleep. Synced. Switched personalities. And then stabbed Shoko's discarded body with an ice pick. I took Shoko to Bloom Park by car. Using the old, abandoned subway line. Must have been around 8pm by the time I was finished. I tied up Shoko to one of the merry-go-round horses. I wonder if there's going to be a motivation for all this more than just Saito is a psychopath. Because like, wasn't he like 12 years old or something when he killed Iris's mum? So like, clearly if you're murdering people at 12 years old you're a bit of a psycho. So is there going to be a motivation for these murders past that, I wonder? After that, I used Renju's phone to send a Niall message to Mizuki. Not that <laughs> I feel like that implied that it, murdering anyone when you're older doesn't make you a psychopath. Obviously, if you're killing someone, you're a psycho no matter what. But like, it's a special kind of psycho that is a murderer at 12, you know? Uh, you know what I mean. Mizuki, daddy got caught up in something serious, and then summoned then her there. Yeah. I just waited for Mizuki to arrive. Okay. You waited for Mizuki to arrive. You didn't. What was? What was the point of that? I guess to get the body found. But like, huh? I don't know. Until next Saturday evening, my personality was inside Renju. My next target was Iris. I knew she would be suspicious if I asked her to come to Kawasaki, so I asked her to come to Sunfish Pocket first. I called her a little before 5pm, and she arrived just after 6. I greeted her, then convinced her to come with me. That's when Ota saw us. Heh, <laughs> fucking Ota. Anyway, I put her in the car, then headed to the chemical plant. On the way, I made her take a sleeping pill. I knew she might run once she saw where we were going. It was around 7pm when I got there, and I wasted no time switching bodies. After getting Iris's body, I used a rolled-up apron to strangle Renju to death. Then I put his body in an empty oil drum I had prepared earlier. I put that in the trunk of the car, then headed to Sunfish Pocket. But then, something I didn't anticipate happened. Waiting for the signal in Akiva, someone knocked on the window of the car. It was Ota. He asked oh, me something yeah. about being able to drive. I remember that, and you said you were on an errand for Renju, right? He was surprised, to say the least. I didn't have time to waste on him. But I couldn't risk him finding the oil drum in the trunk. Plus, if word got around that Renju's car was spotted driving around Akiba, that would foil my plans. So, 
I came up with a lie. I told him that I didn't have a license, so he had to keep it a secret. That's what that thing referred to in Ota's Nile messages, by the way. And just like that, I managed to escape a bad situation and headed to Sunfish Pocket as planned. The rest went exactly as you already figured out. Okay, day three. Sunday morning, I had a recording or some such thing scheduled. Oh, I am of course referring to Iris. I didn't want to draw suspicion, so I decided to attend as planned. I went to Lemniscate and performed my job. And when I left, I ran into you, Date. Wait, was that the first time we met? No, we met before day three, right? To be honest, I was a little surprised. Just the previous night, I was a parasite in the body of Renju. I didn't think Ota had seen me. So, of course, I didn't expect to see you there so soon. You were on to me, but there was nothing I could do about that. If I ran, it would only increase your suspicion. So I decided to play my role. Right, yeah, 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 okay. The interrogation began around 8.20 p.m., is that right? Man, I've got to, it's like, I'm just trying to remember, because it's been, you know, weeks and weeks since we did, because we did this route first. It just so happened we went down the route that we're currently in that dead ended first. So it's been weeks and weeks since I did it. So I'm just trying to r remind myself in my head of like, what actually happened, <laughs> like when things happened, when we met characters for the first time and everything. Then you synced into my mind. But you didn't get what you were looking for, did you? No. As a result, you had no choice but to release me. Saito had to have been in my head at some point. That's, it, it is the only answer. And was using me to perform the killings or some shit. But... Yeah, maybe it was like a third member? Because we know 89 and we know the Kumakura dude was doing it. But maybe I was like a third member? I didn't want to go home right away. I knew there might be police waiting for me. That would make it difficult to sneak out at night. And that would put my plan in jeopardy. And why has he been taking all their eyes? Is that just like a holdover from the original ones, or...? So I asked you to take me to Marble. I tried to find an opportunity to run, but then another unexpected event occurred. I got a Nile message from Ota. I knew I could use him. So I told him I needed his help and to meet me at Marble. He did as I instructed him to do. Ha! <laughs> right, that was that. Yeah, 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 yeah. After that, I got into the van with Ota. But because his presence was unnecessary, I asked him to stop at a convenience store to buy me something to drink. When he was gone, I took his car and drove to my parents' house where I used to live. Yes, the Sejima residence. Of course, I knew I couldn't just walk up and ring the doorbell. Hello, father. It's been a long time. I was also in Iris's body at the time. But I thought I could use that to my advantage. So I pushed on the intercom and sure enough, my dad invited me inside. I told him this. I want you to come with me. There's something I need to show you. He was quiet for a while, but eventually agreed and got into the van with me. He must have been thinking how much she looked like his ex. We arrived at the prototype sink machine around 11.50 p.m. By the time I was in the body of Sosajima, it was a new day. Day four. There isn't much to talk about on Monday. Before noon, I used my old man's body to call this one. Boss, you might not know this. She and my father go back about six years. 
the two shared a terrible secret. Hinting at that was enough to get the boss to come running to me immediately. Wait, what secret I did they share? With a sedative. We don't know that, do we? The two of them shared a terrible secret. Boss didn't have anything to do with the with Iris's mum's death, did she? I don't think so. Then brought her body to the chemical plant. But maybe? I synced with her, exchanged our bodies. And after blowing my father's brains out, I cut his body into pieces. I stuffed the meat into a vase I'd brought earlier, then drove back to my house. Continue. This was yesterday, early Monday morning, past midnight. In my new body, I drugged Iris, put her in the van, and drove to a new location. Wait. Wait, have we gone back? Was I supposed to click continue? I thought continue was going to be like a move the conversation on thing. But I guess continue popped up then because it was like more of day three. Okay. I did, yeah, I, I didn't understand that. I, I didn't want to click continue because it was different to the rest, so I thought it might skip the day four stuff, so, okay. Okiura Fishery Cold Storage Warehouse. I arrived around one, then prepared for the show for a couple hours. Of course, when I say show, I mean dismembering Iris. Because of the temperature in the warehouse, it took longer than I expected to prepare, but... Well, he saw it in the video. Of course, I didn't anticipate Ota would show up. What does that make it? Three times that brat has showed up unexpectedly? That annoyed me to no end, and I took that out on him. Dressing him up in the polar bear was an impromptu plan on my part. I didn't mean to make you think he was the killer. I literally never thought he was the killer. <laughs> I just wanted to throw a wrench into the investigation. It didn't matter if you found out or not. This all happened Monday morning. I left the warehouse around 3.30 a.m. Saito spoke with grace and no sign of remorse. I was trying to keep my anger from boiling over and kept asking him questions. Okay, uh... Why did you take out your victim's eyes? You know all about the prototype sync machine, don't you? That should explain it. I knew. The prototype sync machine differed from the one at Abyss in a few key ways. The machine at Abyss is more sophisticated. Nano cables from the sync gear enter through the gap between the eyeball and the socket. They then travel down the optic nerve canal to the brain. But the prototype isn't so advanced. To perform a sync, you need to remove the left eye manually. The subject and the sinker have to remove their eye from the socket. Otherwise, the cables cannot enter the brain. Huh. So, does that explain... Does that explain... I guess it does. That explains why Iris lost her eye whilst we were in the sink in the other route a little bit ago the 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 end of route iris i was very 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 confused when we came out of that because she went into it with two eyes and then she came out of it with one eye and neither of us mentioned the fact that she didn't have an eye anymore but i guess i guess it off camera us removing her eye and then didn't tell us about it and we never told her about it so even though i guess it would make sense that we wouldn't mention it because we were the ones who removed it like it's very strange that she wouldn't go, what the fuck? I've only got one eye. I mean, I know she was busy dying, but still. That's very strange that she would not say, where the fuck is my other eye? <laughs> you know? I don't know. It's weird that they did that off camera. Also strange that he knew how to do that. Because theoretically he shouldn't know. I mean, I know they're saying like he has memory of it from before... His memories, like, were removed, but, like, yeah, I don't know. 
surely he'd go, huh, why, why do I know to do this? Like, yeah, I don't know. Of course, even with the eye removed, severing the connection to the brain isn't necessary. The extracted eyeball still has the optic nerve and blood vessels connected. After a sink, the eye is supposed to be replaced back in the socket. It's supposed to be safe. Side effects are rare. And that's why Date doesn't have one, because he was fucking synced into the old machine years ago. And they completely cut off his eye. And so he now has Iba as his eye. And so now he can very easily use that sync machine, because he doesn't have an eye to y yank out. He can, it's just Iba. It's just a fake eye. So that's no longer an issue. Unless the nerve or blood vessels are damaged somehow, replacing the eyeball isn't difficult. Uh, continue with that one, I guess? Of course, I don't really care about eyes. I don't need them. All I cared about was exchanging bodies with the sink. And for that, I needed to remove the left eye. Why didn't you just put the eyes back when you were done? That's obvious. Once I was finished transferring into a new body, the old one was of no concern to me. Why would I bother replacing the eye? I was just going to get rid of it anyway. Okay, where are the eyeballs? Shoko's is in Renju. Oh, right, of course, because, yeah, you'd have to remove... Wait, why wouldn't you just put your own... Why wouldn't you just put Renju's own eye back in? Renju's is an iris. Iris's is in dad. Dad's is in boss. Their stomachs, I mean. Oh! You ate them? Fuck me. You sick bastard. Yes. I ate them, immediately after exchanging personalities. How horrible. So who was her next victim? Was her next victim going to be Hitomi? Uh, okay, that's a different question now. What's your motive for the murders? So why didn't the sink vis victims resist after waking? Ah, the prototype sink machine has a special feature. It administers a strong dose of sedatives to the original body and a stimulant to the host after a sink. That kept them docile. Huh. Why did you display the bodies the way you did? To harass you. Me in particular? I wanted to bring out the hatred in you. Like me That's specifically, not just Mizuki the cops. To Bloom Park. Okay, that makes more sense. That was a question I had. Why bother with that part? That's why I streamed Iris's murder. Because they were important to you, weren't they? They were. Okay, so the motive is me. This is all being done to fuck with me, specifically. But why? I wanted you to feel cornered, trapped. I wanted to punish you, Kaname Date. Go on, what's the twist? What's the twist? What am I not seeing here? Homicide is my hobby. I have a tenacity for it. What can I say? There's some twist about why Saito doesn't like me. Of course, it was also necessary to make sure people kept their mouths shut. If I took over someone's body, they would know about my crimes. I couldn't risk them reporting me, so I killed them. It was also a matter of revenge against you. Yeah, here we go. It's personal. That's why I chose people close to you as targets. Well, except for my father, of course. That was personal to me, but don't ask. It's embarrassing. Revenge against me? This series of murders was like a journey for me you know traveling through bodies to finally reach the end that's the thing about traveling you always wind up in the same place don't you where do you think that is your home 
A trip is only complete once you return home. Oh shit! What if it's... What if it is... What if I'm not in my actual body? What if I'm not... Maybe it wasn't that I got swapped and then swapped back. Maybe we swapped out. So I am Saito Sejima in body, but not in mind? Because Saito Sejima swapped out of me that I've, like, the body that I've been playing as this whole time. What if that was the original Saito and he swapped out to someone else and so someone else's mind is in Date's body right now, maybe? But who would that be? Who would, who would he have swapped into and then hmm the same goes for me when i return home my travels will come to an end so i'll be needing it back my body yeah 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 this is totally right what? you stole my body you took it from me six years ago that's why I want revenge. So who am I? What are you talking about? You have no idea what it was like inside my own head. I miss it. I miss my brain, Date. No matter how many people I killed, it never worked. I never felt happy. I feel miserable. You... you mean... He was born with a brain dysfunction. Due to damage to the posterior pituitary gland, he was unable to properly secrete oxytocin. Oh, that's right. My old body. How are you finding it, Dot? This body is yours? That's what I've been telling you! I don't have the same oxytocin deficiency you did. That is because I regularly supplement it. Oh, shit! Yes, you do! That's the fucking pills, the dosage that she's mentioned a few times. They must have increased your dosage too much. No, but the person who had this disorder was number 89, the original Cyclops killer. Wait, what? Oh, God. My brain. My brain. I thought Pewter was talking about Saito's son, but I guess he was talking about 89. So... Oh, God. Let me... Try. So... So... This is 89? Wait. Okay, you know what? Just tell, just tell me, game. Tell me. As well, but we must have misunderstood. Pewter did not specify who exactly was imprisoned, only that one of the original culprits responsible was currently in prison. Huh. That's strange. That would mean number 89 is the previous chairman, Rohan. What? That must be it. Rohan is a parasite inside number 89's brain. My brain is fucked! <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh god! Oh no! Rohan is inside 89's brain, so I guess 89 was inside Rohan's and got killed. Okay, so... Was it Rohan that was with Hitomi? Is Ro- was- is Rohan actually Iris's, like, stepdad, like, figure, the person she looks up to? Or was it actually 89? I wonder. No, I mean, it must be. The person she looks up to must be the actual 89, right? Because that was a long time ago. That was She's 18 now. She was a kid when he was around. So I think, I think the swap must be much more recent than that. Because until, like, six years ago or something, Rohan was still the leader of the Kumakuras and still around. So it must have been about six years ago that... Rohan body swapped into 89, which means that the original 89 that Iris looked up to and was with Hitomi is dead, I think. Pewter must have known that. No way. I was confused. 
I didn't understand any of it. Let us determine the specifics using Saito as our starting point. Whose brain was he in before boss? So Sejima. And before so? Iris. And before that, Renju. And before that, Shoko. And before Shoko? Whose body were you in before Shoko? I was a parasite inside Rohan's brain six years ago until last year. Until last year? You were a parasite inside Rohan's brain. And Rohan is in 89's brain. So where was 89's brain at? <laughs> Saito is in Rohan. Rohan's in 89. 89's, I guess, dead? But whose body, I guess... Oh, you know what? I'm just... <laughs> My brain is actually fucking, like, exploding trying to comprehend it all. I'm just gonna let the game go for a bit and not and not stop to theorize. This is, this is like, so my shit. I'm so fucking happy I'm playing this. <laughs> like, oh my god, this is exactly my shit. I'd lost most of my memories. I was a shell of a man. They housed me in a special hospital. But I still had those fragments of my mind left. Just as I explained earlier. From a single piece, you can recreate the whole. I took my time. Slowly regaining my memories. One year ago, I remembered everything. I left the hospital and immediately sought out Shoko Nadami. I got her body, and she was in Rohan's. When she saw herself in the mirror, she lost her mind. She was confused, panicking, running up the emergency staircase, and then... That's why Rohan committed suicide. After that, I spent a year perfecting my plan, using Shoko's body. I spied on you all this time. That's why I know everything about you. Who were you before Rohan? In there, in that body you are operating right now, in that skull. Huh. So you, okay, so you started off, uh, you, Saito, started off in Saito's body, So's son. Saito killed, uh, Iris's mum. That was when he was a kid. That was a long time ago. Saito jumped into Rohan's brain for some reason. Why was that? My personality lived there. Wait, hold on. If what you're saying is true, what about my personality? It was in Rohan. Oh fuck, I'm Rohan? Oh god! I'm not Rohan! Correct. It is just as he explained earlier. Number 89 was in Rohan's body. I'm 89? I'm Iris' father figure? In other words... That's... Am I real? Oh shit! Yo, I was banging Hitomi. Nice. <laughs> Keep talking. Sorry, but time's up. I want my body back. It's quite simple. Sync with me and stay inside my mind for more than six minutes. And if I refuse? <sighs> I know that you won't. I know it. Huh? Date, look! This is streaming live! Fuck!
<laughs> oh god. Damn you! So like I've lost my memory, but if I hadn't lost my memory, Hitomi's the one that my character's in love with. So that's not good. If you give me back my body, I will give you the location. Oh, and of course, it isn't the chemical plant in the Kawasaki district. Iba, where's the source? It is being routed through numerous IPs. I cannot identify the source. Pewter, contact headquarters, now! Got it. Now, what will you do? Will you agree to my request? Oh shit, this is a split? This is a split? Fuck. What's to stop Saito from killing me, though, as soon as he takes back his body? Is someone coming with us <laughs> to make sure that doesn't happen? Multiple people, in fact, seeing as Saito's pretty fucking strong. I mean, I'll do it. But I don't know if doing it is necessarily the good outcome here. Date. See. Gotta save Hitomi. What do you What do you mean, Date, Iba? <laughs> but fucking Hitomi's life is on the line. I knew you wouldn't refuse. I like uh, yeah. So long as so long as we are smart enough to have a bunch of people come with us. But then maybe that's going to be against Saito's rules because obviously Saito wants to get out of there unharmed. Oh god. I know you well. Don't I, Date? How's this gonna go? How's this gonna go? Oh well, we're, it's not the right. Yeah, it's this sink machine. So we're not being sedated. That's only the other sink machine, right? So we're now in <laughs> Boss's body. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I'm back. I got it all back. Hey, where's Hitomi? All right. I'll tell you as promised. Boss's house. However, it might be too late by now. What? What? Why? Why? How fucking dare you? Return my body and I'll tell you the location. That's what I said. I didn't lie. I kept my promise. You bastard! <sighs> You're the one who injured that body. Oh, right, we did. <laughs> I forgot about that. Really. Oh, Tell God, me. I forgot. Be seeing you. Oh, shit. Oh, the eye. I forgot. Iba, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Date, are you all right? Does he- did he not know then? Iba's voice barely resonated. He- but he surely knew that I have Iba. My eyesight was hazy, a heap of broken images. Sweat was building on my palms. It felt like my throat was closing up and I was struggling for breath. In my ears, the rushing blood of my heartbeat was the only sound. Everyone's dead. Shoko, Renju, Iris, Ota, Hitomi boss. The flesh remains. The mind is lost. I couldn't do anything. Saito had me right where he wanted me. Nothing. Nothing. Parallel worlds exist. The words suddenly echoed in my head. I couldn't remember who or where or why. But I thought that if there really was such a world, then me in that world I is another. Could I have had a better future? I prayed that I could. I felt my consciousness sink into a black abyss.
Yo, that's a madness. Is that the end of that route? I'm thinking that's the end of that route. That is the end of that route. So can we go back in and choose the other option there? Annihilation route. End. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, fuck me. So what? Yeah, so we're just going to end that there. So like, Saito got his body back, but just didn't realize that he could just get fucking EMP'd by Iba and then like, that's, that's that. Hmm. I feel like he would have known, but I guess Date, I guess it was like classified, right? And Date wasn't telling people, so I suppose maybe it's possible that he wouldn't have known that that was a thing. Uh, so we have to go back to the interrogation and then choose the other option. So we're going to just speed through all this. Da 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 Oh boy, this is going to take a while. <laughs> this is going to take a while. Oh, it's a good thing I chose... It's a good thing I did leave that top one, because if you choose that top one too many times in a row, it skips the side ones. Well, that's good to know, I guess. My actual head. <laughs> My actual head. So, okay, one question... The one question that's left, though, is why... How and why did 89... Like, it was some kind of three-way swap. How did... What was the original reason for us all swapping to begin with? Rohan went into 89s. 89 went into Saito's. Saito went into Rohan's. But we don't actually know the reason why that happened, do we? Because that was a three-way swap. Which we haven't seen before. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, I won't do it. Date, I'm hurt. Don't you care about what happens to her? Nope. Not in this timeline. Understand the gravity of this situation. Calling your bluff, bitch. A bomb is strapped to her body. You're too stubborn. Or maybe you're just cold-hearted. You want to see what will happen when her flesh burns and tears and scatters? If you aren't quick, you'll see the whole thing. You know I'm not bluffing, don't you? I didn't agree, no matter how many times he demanded it of me. I refused again and again. And when I saw it, I understood. Boss's body rolled into the corner of the room. I didn't want to think anymore. Anything. Nothing. I closed my eyes and ran my palm across my face. I could taste blood. So you murder boss? You watch Hitomi get blown up and then you murder boss? Or well, murder Saito in boss's body. That's the ending of that? Bad end. <laughs> All right. Oh, that's quite funny. Well. What the fuck, man? What the fuck? <laughs> what an insane fucking part. Holy shit. I really wish you could save in this menu, but you can't. So I'm going to have to go into what we're doing next. And then save as soon as possible. Uh, this is right at the start, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna save as soon as we are able. And leave it there for today. But, like, that is... Oh, so much madness. So much madness!
Wait, You're okay, right. so... So... What? Okay, so Ren's on the floor. We are in the chair. Did we just get body swapped, or...? Damn it! I don't think you can release yourself. No, he just tied us in. We'll do something about it. What is it you expect me to do? Come out of my eye socket and get this off of me! I cannot. Why not? My body has short-circuited. It must have been the electric currents from earlier. <sighs> Brilliant. But fortunately, my communication functions are still operational. I attempted to reach HQ and Abyss personnel for support. And? No response. They ignored you? There must be pressure from the higher-ups. Likely a result of Congressman Sejima's interference. He thinks I'm investigating Monica's case. That is not the only reason. So Sejima holds a personal grudge against you. He wants you dead. He doesn't know that I am not Saito. Because it's Saito's body. He doesn't know I hopped out, that Saito hopped out of it. That is likely why Pewter is attempting to delete my data. Are you okay? For now. But if they breach my final layer of ice, they will destroy me. I would cease to exist. Yo. You're Saito Sejima. Oh, so you figured it out. Wait. <laughs> in this timeline, he's not in... Wait. What? Oh, God. Wait, can I save here? Can I just save and quit here? Because I, I really... Like, this feels like it should be a new thing, right? Like, we've just had all that revelation. Let's save here. Cool, we have played a lot, huh? We have played a lot. Right, yeah, so last time I played was the end of, uh, was the last day of January. Wait, no, second to last day of January. Damn, so it's been a little over a week. So yeah, uh, that was, wow. I knew I cliffhangered myself. But I didn't realize just how hard I'd cliffhanger myself. The amount of revelations I was I was just about to get if I just kept going. Wow. Wowie. All right. Well, we're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there. Plenty more revelations to come. Saito's currently in 89's body. So in this timeline, like shit's Saito's making different plans. Saito is doing things differently. I, we must be closing in on the end of the game real soon, I think. Uh, this is this has been amazing. I love it. I absolutely love it. This is fantastic. Hope you're enjoying as well. If you are, if you could leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Share the videos around. Share the playlist around if you can. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you next time for what could be the conclusion. I'm not sure. Like what what is going to be heading towards the end of I the Somnium Files. Thanks for watching. See you then.